In the heart of Chicago, one tiny news weekly pulsed the world with riveting content. Johnson Publishing Company's Jet Magazine has long been a legacy of entertainment and news, reaching more than 7 million readers. My mom grew up on Jet Magazine, and ever since I was a little girl, I've always been inspired by Jet. Even I said, as a little girl, I always wanted to pose in Jet. My daddy always wanted to look at the cinephone, so. He just pick up the Jet magazine and he always looked at the centerfold and we used to laugh at him because he always like he likes to look at the pretty girls. Jet magazine began in 1951 and by the 70s was gracing tabletops and barber shops in black communities across the country. When I think about Jet, I think about you know a magazine that my mom would have like on the coffee table or like in the bathroom. This small booklet, mirroring the size of a tablet, has become just that. In June, Jet turned fully digital to offset the financial pressures all print products are facing. To continue to go the path that they were going with a print product at this day and age, wasn't going, it wasn't going to be able to survive, in my opinion. Myra Lowe was the first female editor-in-chief of Jet. She took over in 2009 and oversaw the redesign of the publication structure. She says she sees advantages to the digital move, despite the risk of losing some older print readers. Everyone, for the most part, has a digital device. Everybody is getting their information on mobile. How transition will bode with older audiences is a question that has one longtime reader at odds. I prefer paper copy because I'm just old school. I still like to sit down, have my tea, and still would love, preferably, to have it in a magazine form. As long as Jet continues to cover the community uh, based on its founding, as long as Jet can continue to uh, find new ways to engage audiences, I, I think Jet has a real bright future.